your book, on page 7, you talk about the method of scientific investigation as a metaphorical triangle with explanation, prediction, and testing as three corners of this triangle. Could you explain what you mean by that? Thank you for your question. Yes, the concept of a metaphorical triangle with three points is that of Karl Popper. The method of scientific investigation is method of hypothetical deductive method and the three corners are explanation, prediction and testing. At any given point based on our background assumptions we may feel that we feel confident about the two and then we use them in our investigation to learn more about the third corner point. For example, if I look at prediction and explanation and I feel strong about them, then I feel good about it and then the, my point I want to make is the, the point of testing. I may look at any other two to predict the, to know more about the third, not necessarily predict. So let's take the example of Arundhati, which is chapter 6 of this book. What is Arundhati observation? In Mahabharat, it says, Yachaisha Vishruta Rajas Trailoke Sadhu Sammata Arundhati Tatha Pesha Vasishta Prashtata Kruta. The translation is very straightforward, everyone understands it, and what it's saying is at the time of Mahabharat war. Arundhati is walking ahead of Vasishta. So that's our explanation. We feel good about it. We understand it. No confusion, no disagreement among researchers on that particular translation. Now, the goal is to find out when the Mahabharat might have happened. Right now, if you look at Arundhati and Vasishta in the sky, you will find that in reality right now, Vasishta is walking ahead of Arundhati. So what can we do? One way is we can use astronomy software to test for this scenario going back in the past and to find out if at any point, if at all, Arundhati walked ahead of Vasishta. I use software from Karina Soft called Voyager 4.5. The great thing is it also uses the precision of equinoxes, so the point of the North Celestial Pole moves as appropriate. It also takes into account the proper motions of the star. So it's pretty accurate software, sufficient for our purposes. Now, mind you, it took me 15 years. I tried multiple softwares and finally it was this software in 2009 that I figured out a time period when Arundhati was walking, off, was walking ahead of Vasishta. Now that's the big deal. And so in this metaphorical triangle, in this particular observation, we would say that the prediction was the big deal. That was sort of the aha moment. And what did we find? When we take that explanation, Narundati walking ahead of Vasishta, and then test it using the astronomy software, we find that a time period beginning with 11,091 BC and until 4,508 BC, this was the time period when anyone observing the night sky, when Arundhati Vasishta are visible, they would have seen Arundhati walking ahead of Vasishta. And what that means in this case is that this is the time interval where one should search for the year of Mahabharata war.